In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this Callaway style sidebar motion graphic animation. We're going to do this in four easy steps. The first step is going to be adding a soft light in the corner of the background. Next, we'll be creating this glowing ball of light. And third, we'll be animating the numbers for this list. And the last step is going to be to bring everything together. Let's go. Okay, for the first step to create the soft light in the corner of the background, we're going to use the background that we created in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. So I'm going to grab my Callaway style background from my power bins and drop it into my timeline. If you don't know how to use power bins, let me know in the comments if you want me to create a video about it. Then right click, open infusion page. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open the select tool, search for merge, add that right after the film damage, and then drag a background node connected to the merge. Select the color, we're going to choose this pink color. Next, add an ellipse node and connect it to the background node. I'm just going to make my screen a little bit bigger, drag this a little bit smaller, and let's put it right there in the corner. Drag the soft edge up a little bit and the border width. And to finish it off, open Open the select tool again and search for soft glow. Now with the soft glow we can reduce the gain a little bit and increase the glow size. And that's it. Step one is done. After you fine tune all the settings to your taste, you can go back into the timeline. Get a fusion composition, put it on top of the background and drag it out. Let's jump into fusion. Add a background node, connect it to the media out and select the colors so we're gonna do actually do a gradient color change the gradient type from linear to radial then we'll change this black to a light blue color and the other side if you click on that little arrow there end of the gradient is so we'll change that gradient to a light pink color next add an ellipse node connected to the background node and now selecting the background node adjust these lines on the screen to get a nice gradient between blue and pink and now right after the background open the select tool and add a soft glow connect that increase the glow size and decrease the gain let's go back to the timeline move it off to the side and make it a little bit smaller we're going to use this later for the next part let's add another fusion composition and this is where we're going to create the numbers now open the fusion page add a background node connecting to the media out next add an ellipse node and connect that to the background node change the background to a pinkish color decrease the size of the circle a little bit uncheck the solid box increase the soft edge and the border width if you're holding alt click on this line we're going to add a pipe router and below the background node add a soft glow soft glow up the gain a little bit and increase the glow size you get the nice glow going there with the ellipse node selected and the play it on frame 30 add a keyframe on length then we'll go back to frame zero and we'll pull this down. Smooth this out quickly, open the spline window, select the ellipse, zoom to fit, select all your keyframes and S on your keyboard, hold in Alt and drag this last part out so we get that smooth animation. So let's flip this animation around, change the angle down here to 90, add a transform node just below the glow node, search for transform and the one without the XF in brackets, select that one and then just click flip horizontal. Add a merge node on this line, add a text, connect that to the merge and we're going to type in our first letter one so we'll resize that select a font that we like add an ellipse node and what we're going to do is we're going to decrease this ellipse to the size of the circle on frame five add a keyframe on rotation on z and on the offset axis and then on frame 30 we're going to add another keyframe there and there and then we'll jump back to frame five on the offset and the rotation rotate the z axis down and pull the offset axis out of the frame so the number disappears go into the spline window selecting the number select everything s on your keyboard and we'll drag these last parts out to finish it all off we'll add another soft glow connect that below the text between the text and the merge node connect that and we'll increase the glow size a little bit there we go that's the text animation let's put it all together back to the timeline the first thing we're going to do is move the background to where we want the sidebar to stop 
and then we'll select the the circle and we're going to put it in the corner right above here and then select our first number decrease the size by a lot and then move it up we're going to use the text that we created in a previous video if you haven't seen that there will be a link in the description to that video as well so i'm just going to go ahead and grab the text from my power bins add in the wording just the layout so all you need to do now is to change the numbers holding alt drag another fusion composition on top of that go into that fusion composition change the number then go back there, add another layer of text on top of that fusion composition and then drag that text layer down. There we go. Put in your new text and you can build your list like that. So I'm going to fast forward this video and build the list out. Now that you've done building out your list, select everything, right click, new compound clip and now we're ready to animate. About two seconds in or in the middle of that animation, add a keyframe on position and then go back to zero and then drag this out so it just leaves the screen open the keyframes editor select this undock function let's zoom in a little bit select all the keyframes ease in and out and then we're gonna drag this bottom part holding shift this time and drag it out and that's it if your animation is done it should look something like this thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one